What's up guys, it's Lost Grove. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm just gonna be doing some Storm Peeve. You already know we on the Storm. Gotta fix the deck up real quick before going to the match because we're, we're kind of rushing here, but I'm not gonna lie. But here we are today. Um, now, so I've been doing a lot of Peeve um, for the past few hours. And frankly, bro, I had not been having fun. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, first game on here, right? I play a game, I'm like, okay. It's gonna be fun, right? I go on. First game I get a storm, I'm like, okay, storm versus death, right? Because I was playing on my uh my on my death. Literally no joke. Dude actually bolted through me, it bolted through shield twice and both hit max. And it ended up mattering. So you know, kinda taught me a few lessons about whether or not I should log on and hope to have fun, because that was that was a tilting experience, if not if nothing else, because Jesus dude. I can't believe I can't even believe that happened. To, still to this to this moment I'm still shocked it happened like bruh but whatever man we're just gonna keep grinding got storm versus balance really good matchup in the favor of storm so hopefully we'll be able to win this so we got flint star wielder um I'm just gonna get rid of the stun blocks I don't really stun block against the school anymore you don't really have to strike against them so it doesn't really matter if you stun block or not like you can strike against them but you really don't have to honestly I'm just gonna go ahead and blade I might just blade storm out for damage. I don't really like to contest aura in this matchup unless I really have an opportunity to. Like, if they have shields up, or if they don't have a shield up, and like I want to like fight for more damage, I can try to aura sometimes. But that's like literally the only situation. Maybe I should have kept cracking. Oh, he has the wanted, doesn't he? Nice, dude. He cuts it too. Got lucky, 96. That would have killed my death minion. So people with the best death or best uh, balance stats can kill any minion, huh? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shield this round, All right? Because element, wait. I'm trying to think, do I? Can I pierce and take it? I actually don't remember. I might just defend, though, so Loki. I've kind of realized myth st myth mastery storm is just more consistent, honestly. Like I just have a lot more success with it. Not for people have. Like, cause since you just shield spam so hard in this school, it's just really like the better way to go, honestly. But I've kind of realized. I just kind of realized that like I'd rather play PvP casually, honestly, guys. Like I really wanted to be like god at PvP and like you know try to hit like first board or first page of boards or something like that, but it's really just not that fun to like play it competitively. Th this is one of those like game modes you play like you know like semi casually and just play just for fun. Whenever you're in the mood of PvP, because sometimes PvP looks so fun, and then you get into it, and it's like actual pain. Like actual pain. Yeah, for, I mean, free 2k damage, or why not? All day of the week, bro. I mean, that's two out of four of his wanted, so he's Savage Pod. I really don't care about that. I mean, I guess it was a good way to spend his pips, but it's not going to be that much. Like, maybe 600? 800, damn, okay. Okay then, bro, okay. So in this situation, um, I think Blade is not the best move. Weakness would be, so that's that's actually what I was gonna say was the best move there. Alright, so let's go to one Rasalka. We have a really good hand. If he one hits here, okay, yeah, if he one hit there, I was gonna blade. So he's gonna brace like the absolute virgin he is. Classic. So we're gonna go ahead and blade. I think a blade for a brace trade wouldn't actually be the end of the world. I think I'd be still willing to take that, but who knows? Who knows, man? Can't trust Wiz anymore, bro. I don't even know if he'd get the Shad next round. Bro, that's me. I would not get the Shad. Look, Bro, I would take like 12 rounds. Set shield. Keep talent on this guy's part. All right, so we could blade again, maybe. I actually kind of like the idea of blading again here. I think maybe a burn through shield would be his best move here. I think burn through shield is his best move. Since he's almost at max pips, it'd be a great way to cut the cut the gap a little bit. Yo, I just wanted to stop the video real quick to make sure that you are subscribed to the Lost Grove channel. I upload almost every single day, and I try to stay as active as I can on my YouTube. So I'd appreciate if you guys dropped a sub, because only this amount of people are actually subscribed to my channel. So uh, real quick, before this uh, intermission ends, I'd appreciate if you guys would drop a sub real quick. Anyway, back to the video. So he does burn through shield as, as, as he would. As he would, bro. 551. Thorough weakness in a shield. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, man. Jesus. 
Okay, so ideally I tower here weakness, right? Because I weakness now and I can bubble and stall off the rest of his uh brace easily, right? So okay, yeah, overall just a great hand. Like I can't really complain about anything in this hand. I could even go for a Jin's defense play at the end of his uh end of his thing. Okay, steel pips? I mean actually a solid move, I guess. But in this situation, I'm just going to Elfie, bro. I'm going to get a free, like, 200 damage per round. 250 damage per round, basically. And then pressure Rasulka with a blade. His best move right now would be a weakness. He definitely should weakness this round if he wants to win the trade in any, in any way. But overall, I mean, I'm in a great position. What is he going to do? He can't shield? Shield is cooked. Honestly. Shields he's cooked. If he weaknesses, I'm still gonna get the free Rasulka, and you can't evenly trade me back if I'm gonna just stand with shields and weaknesses. You have to wait a lot of time to set up a good hit. So he's gonna weakness me, isn't he? But I'm pretty much taking a near open hit. I'm taking a near open hit here with a Rasulka, and I have the potential to get the blade back. And I know he can't trade evenly with a mock here. I think it's a good hit to take. What else could I do? I mean, weakness wouldn't be good. He would just bubble back. Or sorry, not weakness. Uh, weakness wouldn't be good. He would just uh, want hit, obviously. Um, I couldn't bubble. That would just be a throw. Low key, 3.1, we take those. We take those all day, bro. Take those all day, bro. But yeah, there was just a lot of reasons why that would probably wasn't a good move there. So, didn't really take it. Didn't really think that was a good idea. Because if I bubble, there was really no... no. So he's gonna wand hit, that's a good move, but he's wand hitting at max hips. Like he should be burning or some shit realistically here. Or even like using another paw, maybe. But I mean hey man, you do you. Keep doing bad moves. It's kinda entertaining, bro, not gonna lie. Get rid of the defense. Get rid of Thermic Golem. Get rid of the Rasalka. I'm not sh I'm I'm not missing out on shielding this round. Shield this round. I can't let him just take the mock back like I just Giving him the freest trades of all time. So I'm gonna get rid of the Pierce. Pick the crack and get rid of that. Can't really pick moves in time, bro, unfortunately. Can't really empower yet until he wastes all of his pips, but I'll keep it in hand in case he uses some hit gives me a chance. Ooh, that was a good move. Weakness was more ideal there. Which is kind of unfortunate because that just gave him a free Hydra, but whatever, man. 600 and then what to 1.1. So it's 3,700 damage. What can you really do? Didn't really Volcanic Shield earlier like I should have, but... You know, you can't always do the right moves. It happens. Wow. I don't pull weaknesses in this matchup, apparently. It's just classic deck failing here, bro. I guess. Here's what happens in the balance matchup. You you deck fail a hit and you end up like playing the whole game from behind. Or sorry, you deck fail a shield or weakness and you play the whole game from behind basically. So he burns me? What? Why? I just gave you a free shad on a silver platter, dude. I don't know what that play was. I get a weakness finally? Okay. I need a Rasulka in hand right about now. I need a Rasulka in hand, bro. Rid of that. Fermidil's okay in this matchup, but it kind of just baits a fern. That's the only problem with it. I guess I could beetle right now. If it's not a tower. Yeah, keeping I think I, I think I pierce this round in specific. Yeah. I want to pierce this round and hopefully pull a hit in bubble. So I can just spam all, out all my bubbles. Because I have three in my hand right now. I need to just fight for bubble control right now. I should have bubbled this round, because what it, what could he have done? So I do like the wand hit. I actually like it a little bit more than this one. Reich is an interesting move in this match right now. But if he pulls all the things he needs to counter it, then I'm in trouble. So, alright, so he burns. Typical, right? So in that situation, we need to just get another pip and spam bubbles, right? We use weakness here. Spam bubbles every single round, I guess. Because putting... Here comes the shield, because I got bailed up $20. Nice. Here comes the shield. 
I'm not hitting third shield unless I get another buff here, which would be ideally bubble, right? Here comes a set shield, right? Oh, that's a bad move, dude. That's a bad move. Do I have a... Uh... Yeah, we have bubbles, I guess. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. Taking bubble control here is quite nice for me. I can just hit through shields. Its defense would be god here, bro. I have four bubbles in hand for that. I literally have four bubbles in hand, including hitting bubbles. So he he better he better not bubble this round, bro. You're just asking to get stolen from me, bro. Tough luck. All right, so I'm literally just gonna bubble right back, right? So we're actually cycling our deck really well here by using up our bubbles, which is really good. We still have Jin's defenses up for, like for days too. We can draw ones for a defensive option, but no time. Who's gonna brace? Like the virgin he is. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and Jin's defense. Right, get the six pips. He's a little smirk on his face, dude. Look at him. He looks so happy. This character looks so fucking happy. Absolutely maniacal, bro. What do I do this round if he... If he shields, what do I even do this round? I can't just defense again, can I? I guess I could. Earned. 40th time. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, I'm not at pips to do anything. Then. I always pass. Can't really do anything there except double shield, I guess. But even then, this guy's kind of being a cuck. Still not mocking in this situation? It's kind of surprising, man. I feel like you'd want to mock in that round, on that round. That's what I kind of realized after I did it. I was like, oh, shouldn't I shouldn't have given him the free mock, honestly. But it seems like he didn't really care. I'm kind of just wasting out as much of his uh, brace as I possibly can and making sure he sits on Shads as long as possible. But I did get the Thermic Shield, which would be super clutch right now because he's probably going to Hydra after he loses his weakness. I really do want to get it for Sulk in hand instead of Noni. So technically he gave me a free open Rasulka here, right? Didn't he? Yeah. Like, obviously I'd want to take it, but like... I know he's going to Hydra this round and I lost. Right, I kind of can see right through this guy's plan. I'm actually going to do a weird play here. I'm going to go ahead and just do this. I'm not gonna let him get a free Hydra and win off that, right? Because that would give him a free, a free mock as well to follow up with. Thing in hand to handle anything he's doing. No, sh no Rasulka or anything, bro. Gaze. I mean, I get if he hits, if he hits fire, he won the game every day of the week. If he hits fire, he won the game every single day of the week, without contention or without uh, contest. Right? This does maybe like. 800 total. Yeah, 860 or so. I mean, at least it didn't hit fire, right? Could be worse. In fact, I'm kind of happy it hit the ice. Because it made me take less damage. So now I can tank more hits here. Right here, I definitely prefer the Dark Wind because I can Dark Wind into like an a Rasalka into like anything, and I think it kills. So Rasalka do like 4.5 right now, I'm pretty sure. At least 4K. Do I have one? A Rasalkas or or any Rasalkers? Any Rasalkers? <laughs> like I don't know where it's at, bro. I guess we have a secret in case he paws, but I don't think he's gonna paw in a situation like this, right? Burn. Unless I can just take it anyway, right? 
So realistically, I had a, if I had a Rasalka here, the game would be over. Am I not wrong? Or am I wrong there? If I had a Rasalka here, the game would be over, but I have to take this instead. Maybe if I pull a Sultan, it's winnable. I don't know where my Rasalkas were this part of the game. I guess I just pulled them all too early, huh? At least I do have two buffs here. Basically, I'm nullifying the weakness, and I have that Pierce Blade, so it should do like about high 3k. Maybe like 3.5 is, is a realistic estimate for this. Uh, that's pretty realistic, I think. 3.1, a little bit low, but I'll take it, I guess. I'll take it. Sultan, that's a perfect pull here. That's fine. I'm actually chill with this situation here. So he's gonna break, you know what? Oh no, he's gonna... What? Bro just tossed. I mean, I literally just tower into the Sultan here, right? His best move is Steel Ward out of this, but I'm just going to Steel Ward it back. If he's Steel Ward, that's definitely his best move. Street Sweeper too. Not that I need it, but cool to have. Let's see what he does here. One hit? Yeah, GG, bro. I mean... A little bit too close of a game, not gonna lie, but we take those. And it's my first game of the Earth, first one of the day, so <laughs> I mean, why not, bro? Why not? Why not, dude? I mean, just take the Sultan, GG. Easy dubs, right? There's like 2.6. Yeah, I mean, realistic. If I had the Rasalka there, this this game is so chalk for this guy. There's no coming back. I could have probably wanted hit to kill him at that point, but I don't know. If 350 base damage would make that big of a difference. Probably would, honestly. It's a big difference to factor in, dude. All right, so I mean, we got 19 rank off, but we take those. GG, bro. So he doesn't even have bad stats. This guy actually has pretty good stats. He just doesn't know how to use the Fire Mastery strat. I'm sure he'll probably end up winning games eventually. 